I know, right? Go flipping up the stairs. Hi, guys. Let's shake it off. We're more than halfway through, right? Everybody's still awake. The problem now is that all I can think about is brie and a nice baguette and a glass of red wine. So if my stomach starts rumbling, just go with me through it. Sound good? Your stomachs are rumbling too. So today I'm going to talk to you all about strategic planning and practice. And I know that sounds a little bit snorry and a little bit business-like, um, but for me, there's nothing that could be more exciting than the idea of strategic planning and practice. And I want everybody to sort of leave here today thinking that you don't have to be the CEO, you don't have to be the leader of a company. We make strategic planning decisions every day, every aspect of every job, stay-at-home moms, teachers, and leaders, right? So we want to keep this feeling of strategic planning throughout all aspects um, of what we're doing. And for those of you, I see my students out there, so you definitely get an extra five points for showing up today for me. Good work, good work, uh, good planning, right? So how many of you out there are managers today? Do I have managers in the room? And I see about 10 hands. So now I'm going to ask you, how many of you are managers? Everybody raise your hand. Keep going. Come on, I see you because i got a good view. Right, everybody in the room is a manager. You managed to get yourself here today. You managed to sign up for the right classes. Yes, you managed to look for a bigger, better job. You managed to create an idea for yourself that might challenge you for whatever's next in your life. So remember that you're always managing, right? You don't have to have a big title to do it. And we all also have studied, whether it's teaching or nursing or whatever it is that you study, you all have had a class on theory, yes? We've all studied theories, management theories, et cetera. So throughout the course of my life in business, starting out as a warehouse manager, driving a forklift, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, working my way up to a business owner, eventually starting another company, moving through to work in nonprofits, all of these new challenges and, and things that I created for myself. But I found along the way that the theories I had learned about in the business books weren't really transcribing or working for me in the real world. And the more people I met, the more experiences I had, the more I was changed by what I was experiencing, I decided that I was going to come up with my own theory. So strategic planning and practice, we're going to start with a theory. Innovate, strategize, organize, and energize. And if you can do those four things, I believe that whatever stage of management you're in, you're going to be successful, right? So maybe we want to start a new business. We've got big goals, yes? Maybe we want to get a bigger, better job. Maybe we just want to lose a little bit of weight. Maybe we want to go back to work. Maybe we want to have another child. Whatever it is, we need to innovate around that idea. What does innovation look like for you? Does it mean better education? Does innovate mean I'm going to look at things from a different perspective, right? What does that look like? Create a space for change and a space that allows you to innovate beyond where you've been, right? We start there, we create it. Once you've innovated, you've got to strategize about it. And strategizing isn't scary, right? You've all done a SWOT analysis in your business class, your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So take your innovation and your idea, then strategize about it. What do I need? How am I going to make this happen for me? What support do I need from my family? What support do I need from my community, right? Can't do it by ourselves. What more education do we need? Strategize around it, get it done. Then you're going to organize, right? Can't do anything unless we organize. And when you're in business especially, I find that organizing your team, right? Let's say we're strategizing in business. We want to we wanna innovate and say, I want my current profits to be only 30% of my profits for next year. Sound good? I want to innovate and create a new job or a new stream that's going to bring in 70% new profits for next year. I'm strategizing around it, and then I'm organizing my people, my resources, my money, everything, making sure that each piece fits in the right place to support that specific strategy. But how many times are things changing? You guys find change happens in the world? Yes? I agree. Keyes is a famous economist, and he said, when the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do? And so often, too many people don't decide to change their mind when the facts are changing. 
And when we're strategizing and we're planning, I guarantee you the facts are changing every day. We've got things in our task environment that are changing, things like our customers and our suppliers, right? But we've got things in the general environment that are changing. And the gentleman before me talked all about that general environment. What is the weather doing to change the wine industry? What is politics doing to change the wine industry, right? We've got to pay attention to these changes that are going on. Remember our original innovation, keep strategizing, and make different decisions, right? Go back, reorganize ourselves when something changes. And finally, we're going to energize, right? Every person in your organization or your team, right? We want to lose a little bit of weight. We've got a team around us that's going to help us do it. We want to go back to school. We've got a team around us that's going to help us do it. Energize those people in your life. Tell them how they are important to your ultimate goals. Explain to them what you need from them. If we don't ask for support, are we going to get it? No, right? You have to ask for what you want and then expect results. So energize your team and your people around it. Let them know that you're invested in them and their ideas and that ultimately they're going to be invested back in the innovation that you're creating as a whole. So that's the idea, right? Strategic planning in practice. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't just happen in the CEO's office, right? It's going to happen at every dinner table, at every uh, cafeteria on a college campus, yes? So use it, plan it in practice, and don't make business theories too hard. Innovate, strategize, organize, energize. Then you've got a plan. Thank you guys so much.